everybody, Cindy over here with My Arty Endeavors. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty well. I'm not sure if you can see, but I have a little nose right here, which is my baby girl. Um, anyways, I am here today to talk about something that a few friends and I did last year. <clears throat> we decided that we were not going to buy any art supplies. We were going to use what we had. Well, when we did that, we decided that anything that we used up, we were going to stick in a little bucket. Mine's actually in a little paper basket. Hi, Pucky. Mm. Um, and then we were going to do a video at the end of the year. Well, the end of the year didn't make it. I love this basket. It's like a paper weaved basket. Absolutely love the size of it. It's perfect. Um, so we decided we were going to do a video. I don't have uh, dead on arrival tags on mine. Um, but I do have, you know, all my stuff here. And I want to show you what I actually used up. Um, this is a fluorescent pink from Golden, a fluid acrylic. It's empty. Um, a brilliant blue purple from Aquacryl. Let's see. A medium body, um, heavy body, I'm sorry, acrylic paint. This is just hard as a rock, so I used a tiny bit and that was the end. Um, this one, which is Deco Art Americana Calypso Blue. Um, this is Americana Cranberry Wine. These are all empty. Uh, titanium White Deco Art. Um, another Titanium White Deco Art. This is a, oh, where is it? This is a Dilusions Lemon paint. Is that right? That doesn't, that doesn't feel empty. Let's check this one. Let's grab a little piece of paper here. These are all empty. For some reason, this one doesn't look right. That one's not empty. Hmm, don't know how that got in there. Make sure it's the right paint. Yeah. Well, I'll be darned. Okay, so we know that one's not empty. So we're going to take that one back. Um, this Hans Medium Yellow Deco Art. A variety of pens. I mean, this is what... This is crazy, isn't it? These are the pens that I used all up. <clears throat> There's some Vicks. There's some Poscas. There are um, just regular pens. There's, uh, this is I think a big. There's an artisan pen. These are paint pens. Um, again, more. This is a pen gear permanent marker. This is a gold marker. Um, a few Bics. Um, a Sharpie. Another pen gear. This is a uh, pink pit pen. This is a satin acrylic paint and egg. Why is this in here? I think things get... Okay, that's in there. Then we have a gesso. This, I believe, is a double-sided tape. Yes, it is. So that was gone. I used a lot of these. A lot of the baby wipes. I use them all the time. This is a opaque white by DecoArt. Again, tons more pens. Tons. You can tell what I use the most of, I think. Um, more of these white pens. I love these. The um, Uniball white. Um, just Sharpies. More markers. More regular pens. This one is a Permamark in purple. This is one of those uh, Pilot Multi Balls. I love these. So there's all my pens. I got another paint here, Hot Coral. This was a Target paint. Um, <laughs> this one, as you can tell, is empty. This is another white, which is titanium white. I've got another Pit Pen Black. Another double-sided tape. And a golden uh, teal. That's it. So... Um, this is what I used up last year, and it's amazing because you think about it, how many new products we buy every 
you know, so often. I do them every so often. But um, you think about it. And then this really puts it in perspective for me. This shows me that I don't need any more paint. I don't need any more pens. I have tons more of where these came from. So, you know, why would I... Look at this. If I bought anything, it would be my white uniballs. It would be more markers. Um, yeah, maybe some Pilot and some Sharpies. These are the four pens that I would buy, again, if I needed pens right now. Because other than that, these, I used them up, but it's not like they are, I mean, I might refill my Postas, maybe that, but um, it's no big deal. It's no big deal. So, just to show you, this is what you get when you do not buy craft supplies for a year. And we did not. We spent the entire year, oh my gosh, we drooled over everything. Um, but this was it. This is all I ended up using last year. With the exception of, you know, I had probably, I go through these, oh, I'm going to say there was at least 10 of these that I went through at least last year, if not more. But yeah, there it is. This is, you know, what I used. And I did my normal art. I just did what I normally do, which is play in my art journals, um, mess around doodling. I don't know how this one got in there. This is really weird. Because this one's full. Anyways, so yeah, there you go. So if you ever think about, oh my gosh, I've got so many art supplies, what am I going to do with them all? You know what? Take a year. If you don't do a year, do, do three months and save what you used up. And you will be really, really surprised at how little you have. So this is 12 months. Over 12 months, this is what I used up. Now, did I use other products in my studio? Absolutely. But this was it. This is all that, you know, I essentially threw away last year, which is really, to me, it's really eye-opening. It's really kind of scary because I have an entire room full of this stuff. So if you think about it, if it's something you want to do, if it's a challenge you want to do, and, you know, you want to see what you're actually using up in your art studio, go ahead and try it. I would love to see what you end up with. Like I said, it doesn't matter if it's a month, three months, six months, or a year. If you want to try the year challenge, um, it would be great to actually see what you use up in that year. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, there is a link in my description box below. This is another friend of mine that did this with me, um, and she saved the same as I did, everything she used up, and it's interesting to see the difference between what we both used and the amount of what we used. So I hope you guys, you know, take up the challenge. It's so worth it because it just really put a perspective on, do I need more things? Do I need more paint? No. Do I need more pens? No. Will I replace the ones I love? Absolutely. These, I mean, these four pens are one, four of my biggest go-tos. Will I replace them once I run out? Yes. I still have a lot of these in a box. So, <clears throat> yeah, this is it. How unbelievable is this? It's just crazy. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Like I said, check out my friend's video in the description box below. And put your thinking cap on. These are actually the ones I'm using now. I'll move those out of the way so they don't get thrown away. Um, yeah, put your thinking cap on and really think about your supplies in your studio. What you have, what you really need, and what you actually use up. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you again next time. Take care. Bye.